Hey everyone, it's Tyler Strike at Universal Rackets, and today we're going to be going over the number one misconception in tennis. When a lot of players get tennis lessons, they think about one thing, or the coach thinks about one thing. They think about getting the person to hit the ball over the net. Now, I am all for not talking for hours and hours about critiquing the perfect tennis forehand for a 40-year-old that's never going to play Wimbledon in their life, but there's certain things that as a tennis coach and as a player, the tennis coach needs to teach and you need to understand. So a lot of coaches, what they teach players and a lot of players do is that they swing like this. The players, again, they swing like this. So they're going to the ball and they swing like this. They're going to the ball again and they're swinging like this. They're racking straight back and they're swinging around their body. Now this is the number one cause for tennis elbow other than holding the racket super tight. Players swing around the body, they hurt their arm, they hurt their elbow. Instead of swinging around the body, and a lot of players learn this is because what? If you can swing around your elbow like this, you're going to make the ball in every single time. Once again, if I can swing my elbow and rack it like this, I'm going to be able to make the ball in. It's going to go in, but you're going to hurt your arm and you're never going to be able to get more power on the ball. Instead of taking your racket around, what you need to ensure is that you take your racket back and down. Once again, instead of taking your racket around, you need to make sure that you take your racket back and down. By taking your racket back and down, that's going to help you get under the ball and swing up instead of come around the ball and hurt your elbow. So again, instead of going like this, I want you to go like this and down, and then you will be able to have that proper swing path. Now, how do we ensure that we can go from this to this? It's super easy, everyone. Instead of taking your racket tip pointing straight back, that's going to make you come around. What you're going to do is you're going to point your racket tip up. Notice again, when I do it wrong and I hurt my elbow, horizontal swing path, tip is straight back. I go around. Now, when I take the racket back, look, tip is straight back. Now I'm taking the racket tip back and look, the tip is pointing up. So again, racket tip pointing up instead of straight back. Now when I swing, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the racket and then I'm going to swing. A lot of coaches, racket back, here we are, follow through. No, 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 racket tip back, then drop, then follow through. It's not racket back, follow through. That's not gonna work. It's going to be racket tip back, drop, and then follow through. Now, this is a drop. This might be a new thing for you. Maybe you never dropped the racket in your life, and that's okay. It is not that difficult. All you are going to do is for the racket drop, watch what I'm going to do. What is pointing towards the camera right now? Once again, tip is up. Here we are, I dropped my racket. What is pointing towards the camera right now? The tip of, or sorry, the butt cap of my racket is facing you guys right now. So if you can think racket tip back, point the butt cap, you're pointing your butt cap towards the ball, that's going to ensure that, look, my butt cap is higher than the tip of my racket, my racket is getting below the ball, and I'm going to be able to swing up and not hurt my arm. Now, how do we ensure that we drop the racket at that proper time? Tyler, you told me how to drop the racket, but how do I time it properly? This is freaking crazy. Easy, okay? Easy stuff. All you're going to do is you drop the racket when the ball bounces. I want you to say it out loud with me. I drop the racket when the ball bounces. So all you're going to do is take the racket tip up, the ball's going to bounce, then you're going to drop, show the butt cap, and then hit. Again, you're going to take the racket back, tip up, ball's going to bounce, drop the racket, and hit one more. Tip back, bounce, drop the racket, and hit. If you guys can do this, you guys will get over the number one misconception that tennis players learn and coaches teach, and you will not be able to hurt your arm, you will be able to play pain free, and you will also be able to hit a way better forehand by swinging low to high instead of horizontal. If this video helped, if you guys enjoyed this, or if you guys hated it, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys have any questions, make sure to check the Instantly Improve My Forehand ebook. Link to the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Tennis with Tyler, and I'll see you guys on court next time. Have a good one, and happy hitting.